What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide slash review. This time we're taking a look at the mid-season MVPs. We've got Griezmann, we've got Declan Rice, we've got Rugani. We've got a couple of busts as well that I would not touch with a 10-foot pole. Especially if you've been playing the game for a while now, man. The player of the weeks and the mid-season MVPs, they're kind of, they're a non-issue anymore. I mean, unless you are looking for a player that you can just use your nominating contract, right? We're also going to give a brief look at the match pass as well, because there is two MVP mid-season players in there, but you obviously have to buy them. You can't get them with your uh, nominating contract, right? So this is the brand new match pass. We will cover this in a future video, and we'll just keep it very, very short and talk about the match pass, but it's Tony Cruz, and it is Bakayoko there as well. But for this, we're just going to concentrate. It's just going to be a quick video, lads. I'll show you a couple of training guides as well, just handy. But as I said, I would not go near a couple of these players. Even if you have free nominating contracts, I'd sit in them, right? I, I, de I definitely would. You can get your free five star after 15 games. You can just do, you know, play the game as normal and you will eventually get one of these, right? So the ones that we're not going to focus too much on here um, are going to be the three boys at the end, right? Tuma, uh, Budimir and also Vicario, the goalkeeper, right? Vicario is not a bad player, right? He's not a bad player at all, but he's only got 20 levels and he doesn't have low punt or long throw. So straight away from me, he's out the gap, lads. There's no point beating around the bush. He, you know, he's just not good enough, right? He's he's obviously, if you are a Spurs fan, you might be interested in getting him. He's a defensive goalkeeper. He's tall, he's strong, he's physical. But I still think that even with the unwavering Foreman on A rating, the changes they've made to the player form arrows now, there's just no point, man, in my opinion. There's no point in having players like this that don't go to 90 reflexes or 90 awareness or both. Yes, you can put him there, but he's not going to have that awareness, right? So he's a bust. I wouldn't go near him. We also have Tuma here as well. Fairly okay stats as a whole player. Um, unwavering form. He's got double touch. He doesn't have one touch pass. You could give him double touch or you could give him soul control and one touch pass and flip flap and you can mess around. You can do whatever you want with him. But to be honest with you, lads, it's just not for me, man. There's so many good whole playing centre midfielders or creative playmakers or box-to-box -box centre midfielders that you can play instead of taking up the slot with him. Now, obviously, he's down as a four-star, so it might make your, your choice a little bit easier. If you do have a four-star knocking about, which we have, we have a couple of four-stars there. Um, Budimir is the same, right? So another standard card here, uh, soul control, dip and shot. He doesn't have first uh, one-touch pass. He has first-time shot. Very average card. I mean, there's a lot of players that you can get for, like, aerial bombardment, so to speak. So those three players, I would straight away push out, right? Now, in terms of the rest of them, we have Rugani here, who we're going to take a look in a second at the player guide, and I'll hide my webcam so you can see all the stats, right? Rugani is a very interesting player, right? And I'll tell you why. So the reason why they're given players like this now is because they want you to start training up your defenders um, to be kind of, you know, fast off the ball, right? Because that's where the meta has kind of gone. I have a video coming out. Don't worry, it'll be out tomorrow. It's going to be one of my longest edited videos. Um, but this guy is not bad. But the free Bastoni that they gave as a festive gift is way better in my opinion, right? And this guy, if we take a look over here on eFootballDB, we do actually have um, this player up here in just a second. We have him here, right? So you might notice as well, lads, that we do have a, sub uh, a live stream giveaways going on. We'll have another one today, um, sponsored by one of our members on the chat. Lou Colo is going to be sponsoring a 20 euro giveaway today. So make sure you check out the live stream today. We'll be streaming in a couple of hours and turn on the notifications of the channel. If you're not subscribed already, please do. And then we will get cracking with that, right? But Rugani is just going to be a very kind of simple defender, right? If you are a newcomer and you have a four star or five star that you want to get rid of, He's not a bad player, man. And, you know, a few of the four stars are not bad either. But speed at 76 is going to get the boost. Obviously, every stat that you see here is going to get a manager boost of plus two with the top managers, right? If you're a newcomer, you don't understand that. I have tons of videos up on manager boosts and how to get them more effectively and all that sort of stuff, right? It's very easy. You just pick a manager. There isn't much complication to it. But he's going to get 90 tackling. But the rest of his stats are going to be below par, in my opinion. He's just not good enough, right? Now, going back to this selection here... If he is down as a five star, I obviously would say, you know, definitely not. But as a four star, he's not a bad option to have, right? If you're looking to use it up. Now, one of the surprising packages of this is Tatibo, okay? This guy has been linked with Manchester United at the moment. He's an absolute weapon of a player. And he is kind of following the new meta, right? You'll see here, he's got a base starting speed rating of 78. That's his stat. He also has interception, aerial superiority, and acrobatic clearance. If you control blocker on him, that would be brilliant. If you control fighting spirit on him, that would be brilliant. 
uh, you know, track back. A lot of people are now using track back on all their team. I wouldn't bother, and I'll show you a video soon on that um, when we are ready to, to rock and roll with it. Um, but yeah, I'm editing my videos a lot, like going into a lot of details. So this guy is fairly decent. You've got a couple of stats here that I want to take a look at, most notably his speed. His speed with a normal manager boost of plus two is going to be 85. And his aggression is going to be 90, his tackle is going to be 92, and his defensive awareness is going to be 94, right? Physically, he's very strong, he's very fast, he's very mobile, and he's basically like a free Koulibaly from the AFC Champions League selection box, right? So if you didn't spin any coins, you didn't uh, get Koulibaly, uh, or if you're a completely free to play, this guy is definitely the truth, man. He's a beast. He is a beast, right? Um... And I do think that his speed will come into it a lot where the game is going. Now, sometimes speed is just not it. So, um, you know, make sure to test him out a little bit before you use him. But yeah, he is probably the pick of the pack for me, in my opinion. Uh, I think he's probably the pick of the whole pack because it's just, it's very rare to get a free center back that fast, right? We also have Horta here, uh, who is also being one of my favorite hidden gems back when I used to do the hidden gem series. Let me know if you want that back as well. There are some nice hidden gems now for newcomers, but this guy is very, very solid. Not as good as the likes of Rafa Silva, who was available on the match pass before, but he's got a wavering form, very, very decent, and his stats go fairly nice as well, just to quicken it up. These are his stats that we have here. So dribble and tight possession are all going to be into the 90 zone. You've got low pass at 80. You've got ball control at 89. You've got offensive awareness at 88, balance at 88, and acceleration at 86. What's not to like? He's a very solid player, very decent player. We also have Grizzy, right? So Griezmann is a player that I definitely have never really given a go to. And I'm actually going to be getting Griezmann in the live stream later and throwing him into, you know, division sweat mode and seeing how he goes, right? Excellent high possession and acceleration. That's going to go to 90. And of course, you're also going to have that ball control and dribbling really, really nice as well as finishing at 85. So, I, I mean, I'm spoiled for choice with my team, but this is a perfect SS if you are playing a 4-3-3 and you are a newcomer. He's a very, very solid card. He's got some lovely player skills, as you see here. Um, very nice card. And of course, he does have unwavering form as well. Double touch, rising shot, first time shot. You will need to throw one touch pass in it. That's the only thing. All of these cards now are not the finished product anymore. You have to put in a bit of effort into him. Same with Declan Rice, okay? He doesn't have blocker as a box-to-box -box DMF. You could play Declan Rice as a CMF, but he's just not quick enough or mobile enough, right? So I would definitely play him as a DMF. He does have man marking interception, slide and tackle, but he doesn't have blocker. He doesn't have one touch pass. Um, he does have low loft to the way to pass. So it's, it's one of the weakest Declan Rice cards that they've released. If you are only downloading the game in the last week or so and you want to get him, he is still a good option compared to most DMFs in the game. And this is his stats. So he's going to have 90 tackling, 95 aggression and defensive engagement, acceleration at 70 and speed at 80. It's a fairly okay card, especially when you get tight possession and low pass at 80 as well with the manager boost. But yeah, it's not one of the best Declan Rice cards that they've actually released. So yeah, I mean, listen, as I said, I will be getting Grizzy later um, and playing with him and seeing what he's like. I'll also probably try and get Totibo. They're the two boys that I'll probably try and get after I get my free nominating contract and we'll have the two five star ones right but uh yeah and of course don't forget to check when your nominating contract is out of date as well because you can see that by pressing y or triangle on your pad xbox or ps5 all right so lads that is it for me don't forget to like and subscribe we're nearly at forty thousand subscribers so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i will be back live streaming in a little bit so please do join the crack we'll have a giveaway everyone will be able to enter it with hashtag or exclamation mark giveaway in the chat when we open up the giveaway until then, don't forget to subscribe, as I said, and uh, keep her lit. Peace.